Kidney histology. So you need to be able to recognise both the cortex and the medulla and the structures inside them under the microscope. So let's start with the cortex. This is clearly the cortex because it contains a glomerulus, which is obviously, you can see that bundle of capillaries there in the center. And then you've got this white space around it, which is the Bowman's capsule. Then the clear sort of cutaway cross-section tubes you can see here, we've got the proximal convoluted tubule and we've got the distal convoluted tubule. The proximal convoluted tubule is normally a bit wider in diameter in the lumen, than the DCT, which is how we can tell, but also they could have the brush border visible inside the PCT as well, which you don't have inside the DCT. And the purple spots that you can see here in all of them are the nuclei stained in the cells of those, the PCT lining cells. The medulla looks very different under the microscope. First, we've got two capillaries here, and you can see that they contain red blood cells, which are the darker blue stain cells. Then we've got two loops of Henle. We can see one in between the capillaries and one just below the capillaries. And we can identify these as the loops of Henle because there's an empty white space in the middle, and we can see these large nuclei um, of the cells kind of protruding out into the lumen of the loop of Henle. Then we have a collecting duct tube here, and you can tell this is different from the others because it has these really much thicker walls to it. So we've got very, very thin walls with the capillaries. You can, you can barely see the walls, and we can see the red blood cells inside in their classic biconcave shape. And then we can see the collecting duct has got these thick walls where we can see the nuclei in some of the cells, but it's kind of this bumpy shape of the wall. And then the loop of Henley thinner walls than the collecting duct and you've got these large nuclei that stick out into the lumen. 